All right, next step in the disassembly is going to be working with the back of the laptop. So I'm going to flip it over. And if you're following along in your manual, we're on page 110. And what they're having us do there is remove the hard drive. This plate on the back is where the hard drive is located. So we're just going to use a Phillips screwdriver and take out the two screws that hold that end. They are captive screws, which means once you turn them loose enough, the plate will come out and then slide, but you'll see that the screws stay connected to the lid. That's very nice. That means we won't lose those later. So we'll set that to the side. Inside you can see the carriage that holds the hard drive. It's a metal case that's actually screwed to the hard drive itself. There's a screw on one end that we're going to want to take out. It is spring-loaded and also captive, so it won't come completely out, but it will be able to feel when it's loose. And on this side, there's a tab that we want to grab. And what we want to do is we want to grab this tab and slide the whole hard drive that way toward the edge of the case. The connector for the hard drive for the SATA connection is on this end. And by doing that, just give it, hold it down just a little bit. We don't want to lift it up and pull or anything. We just want to slide and it'll move up to its little notch there and you can see the connector has now come loose and then we can take the whole thing and just lift it right out and you can see there's our hard drive four screws hold the carriage and the hard drive assembly together that gives us the mounting holes to attach everything to and it fits in there real nice and is a little bit padded the next step in your manual has you disassembling this part. You do not need to do that. We'll leave the carriage and the hard drive together for right now. And that's the removal of the hard drive.